Hi, I'm Eric. This is Broodstar, and today we're playing White Weenie in the Historic Popper FNM at Home event. I haven't played any Historic Popper yet, so I don't know what's good and if this is good. Uh, I jammed one game, and it seemed to do all right. Um, the deck is three Cartouche of Solidarity, three Moment of Triumph, four Soul Warden, four Thraben Inspector, four Gustwalker, four Raise the Alarm, four Swift Response, two Silver Beak Griffin, one Forsake the Worldly in case there's any artifact and enchantment stuff running around, four, uh, four Terries, four Ardenvale Tacticians, a Gale Swooper, and two Bosri's Acolyte. The land are just 16 planes and four secluded steps. Um, this is a super basic brew. Basically, we just want to get creatures on the board and turn them sideways as much as possible. Um, Territorial Hammer Skull and Bosri's Acolyte and Gale Swooper should all help us push through. Uh, Ardenvale Tactician can do that too. Ardenvale Tactician is a better defensive card as well. Uh, it's a really simple deck. I just wanted to kind of play a couple games and see how it does. So, um, so let's hop into the queue. Bam. I'm noticing that these seem to queue very quickly, which is kind of cool. So the hand is Soul Warden, Moment of Triumph, Thraben Inspector, Swift Response, Swift Response, Two Planes. We were going first. This seems good enough. I think we lead Soul Warden. to try to get value uh we lead soul warden to try to get extra value off thraben inspector or if they play a creature uh they play a swamp we draw gust walker so now i think we send with the soul warden and play the gust walker the the game i must or the game i played is like a practice run i've lost because i I haven't actually played with Exert cards on Arena before, so I didn't know how to do it. They play Child of Night. We draw another Gust Walker. We can Moment of Triumph to save our Soul Warden, or we can just attack with Gust Walker and play another one. There we go. Yeah, Exert's not the most intuitive thing uh, on Arena or on Magic Online. I think ideally they play nothing here and then we play Thraben Inspector Swift Response. I don't really expect that to happen though. Uh, we won't block. It seems fine to let them have Child of Night given that we continue to have Soul Warden on the board. They play Savage Gorger. It's a 1 1 flyer who's going to get big. That's fine. So here I think we swing with Moment of Triumph open and hope to catch them. Yeah, I like that play. And then it lets us get a Thraben Inspector down. So we attack straight up, see how they block. It's also possible they just don't block, and that's fine. So now we're just going to pass turn and swift response to Savage Gorger when they attack with it. Unless they play some insane four drop. Try to kill that. This seems like mono black aggro, which I kind of assumed would be good, but I didn't know really how it was going to play. This Child of Night is getting to the point where it's really annoying. Ill-gotten inheritance. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals one damage and you gain one life. That's stuff like that is why we have Forsake the Worldly. Um, so yeah, here we're just going to attack. Bam, bam, bam. Drop th uh, Thraben Inspector, and then leave up Crack Clue or uh, Swift Response to the Child of Night. We're dealing a lot more damage than they are right now, and a Plains like, really gets there. When Audacious Thief attacks, you draw a card and you lose one life. But Audacious Thief was pretty good. Let me know when it becomes apparent that I'm, I'm coming back from a small break. Uh, so a lot of the cards on arena, I'm not as, as, you know, or I, I don't, I don't know as well. Uh, so here we're just going to crack clue. What are live draws? Land is live draw. Raise the alarm is fine. Cartouche is pretty good. Um, so I think we just cartouche a gust walker. 
And then double attack with exert, leaving up swift response, moment of triumph, and raise the alarm. Are they going to try to kill this? That's fine. Now I kind of want to... Yeah, I think I just moment of triumph the gust walker to blank their removal. And then exert, exert. Yeah, hitting for nine there seems like it was pretty good. Uh, now we've got to just survive a couple turns, which their creatures all die to blocks, so that seems fine. The double attack here makes me think that they've got something. I think I'll throw this soldier in front of the Child of Night. Warrior? Soldier, I thought. No, warrior. Interesting. Uh, and if they want to spend removal on a token, I'm fine with that. Unfortunately, our good creatures are staying tapped this turn. They drop another ill-gotten gains. We drop a swift response. Hmm. So I think we attack here. The question is, do we swift response or raise the alarm on their turn? I don't really want to let them draw another card. So I think we actually just swift response now. And then they hit us for two. We have exact lethal open right now. Right? Five. Uh, no. Damn. Okay. So three ill-gotten inheritance is pretty good. Can they kill the Gustwalker? Murder the Gustwalker. All right. Uh, Ardenvale Tactician seems fine. I think we would just play it this turn if we're going to play it. So attack with everything. Play Ardenvale. They go up to seven. We hit for six. Plains wins. Unless they play something insane here. It would be fantastic if they would just play a swamp. If they just go swamp go, that's great. Hmm. So right now we hit for lethal in the air. They have to take out a Gust Walker or the Ardenvale Tactician. It seems like they're going to be able to do that. Um, so I think I want to play the Acolyte, but I'm worried. What two mana? They showed us two mana removal earlier. They showed us Soren's Thirst. So against Soren's Thirst, we still just want to... Against Sword and Thirst, we still just want to do this. And counter, counter. It seems like they should Sword and Thirst the Gustwalker. So attack, attack with Exert. This either kills or they have something. Oh. I missed the food on board. Well, that's not great. Can we win next turn? So they're going to go up to... Well, they already went up to four. They're gaining life. We're gaining life. So Tactician pushes through for three. They gain two. Hmm. They gain two, take two, take... Hmm. I think we just attack with the Tactician, although I feel like I might be missing something. Right, so they block, they block, they take four, gain two. Yeah, we just attack with Tactician, hope that they whiff on, on having anything to do, and then raise the alarm on our turn. Let this all resolve. They are slowly killing us with the ill-gotten inheritance. Okay. They really like doing that. They'll get food. So this time we'll remember that the food puts them up to 
five. So they're at an effective seven. We hit for six. We only need to push one more through. Two more. Raise the alarm at the end of their turn. Go up to 16. If they have removal at this point, there's not much we can do about it. One, two. So they block, block, go four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we just swing out here. Genuinely, I'm not sure if I would have played Gustwalker if I knew how annoying the UI was on Exert. So yeah, they block the Acolyte, block the Soul Warden, crack the food, take 7, 8, 9, 10. They must have something here. They do not. Good game indeed. This format is really fun. Oh, I didn't see their pet. Very cute. So there's one win. What's our reward? Is it good? It's a Thassa's Intervention. I haven't heard of the card before, so I assume no. All right, so we're one more win away from full rewards. We'll play it to two wins, um, unless I start tanking from here. Which I doubt I will, but it is always an option. We're playing Mana Dragon or Mana Dragon. Mana Dragon. Uh, this isn't what we want to do. This is a lot closer to what we want to do. Uh, the question is, do we get rid of land or forsake the worldly? I think the answer is forsake the worldly, but that might end up being really bad. So we'll see how that goes. We lead on Thraben Inspector, then next turn we can step plus Cartouche, or we can raise the alarm, depends on what they do. I'm guessing, so against Mono Red Aggro, uh, Cartouche gets this out of shock range, which they don't have open anymore. So Cartouche does, does seem better on paper. I also, I really like raise the alarm against Mono Red, um, although I guess there is dual shot. Was that the the one mana instant or the one mana spell from Ixalan? They can dual shot away my raise the alarm. They're going to attack with a 2-3 here. We're just going to let it through. Uh, we want to trade damage. This is basically just like super limited. So a one drop here would be really nice. Uh, I would accept another secluded step, which we would probably cycle. Ooh, we'll take four off a Rimrock Knight. Not bad. I don't mind them playing creatures that can't block. All of our creatures can block. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't have priority. Okay, so we have Cartouche now. They have red open. So... I don't think we're cartouching Thraben Inspector twice. Although I guess we could. The question is, do we raise the alarm? Crack clue, raise the alarm gust. Uh, I think I want to go gust walker, try to put a cartouche on it. But I feel like the their ability to blank that with a shock is pretty bad. So I guess we can just Cartouche Inspector again. Or we can raise the alarm and, and not hate if they shock away one of the tokens. I don't know. I think Gustwalker is just so much better than two random 1-1s. One I would like if we had another trigger here to, to give them the priority to do this. But we're going to try. And if they want a two for one us, then that just sucks. But I don't know that we're, we're beating that. Yeah, so it seems like they're contemplating Frostbite. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. The good thing is that Raise the Alarm, Raise the Alarm isn't great against uh, a Coombe Hellhound, but 
Between Raise the Alarm and Clue, we've got a lot of live draws, and it's pretty good against the Rimrock Knight. So is this Vigilance Warrior. They play Spell Gorger weird. Okay, so do we, cy we cycle the step? We'll do that main phase into Moment of Triumph. Okay, so it's a little awkward on our mana, but I really like the idea of Spellgorger Weird not existing anymore. Uh, so I attack there with the idea that we leave Moment of Triumph open, and now we have Moment of Triumph to block the Spellgorger Weird plus a counter or to raise the alarm. I don't think we want to trade all of our creatures for their one creature. If they spend mana on Rimrock Knight, I feel a lot better about just Moment of Triumphing the Knight. They're going to Act of Treason the Knight. Hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It lets them push through an extra two this turn. Yeah, that's fine. We're not gonna we're not gonna block with our soldier tokens at this point. So I guess maybe they have like a one mana deal. Yeah. So that's pushing through a bunch more, but we can live with that. We are at dangerously low life. Okay, play raise the alarm, give me my soldier back. Well, now I wish we had waited, uh, but I guess we'll soul warden. We can attack for two, three, five, seven. That doesn't seem very good. Uh, so we'll probably just hit with Thraben Inspector, leave up Moment of Triumph, and also Cracking Clue. Oh, we also get through with the Vigilance token. They're running short on cards, so the, the biggest the Spellgorger Weird can be, unless they draw something, is a 6-6. Six, six. We need to throw a Soldier in front of it. This will be a 2-3, that's fine. How much damage do we have next turn? We have 6. 8. Act of Treason, the Thraben Inspector, make a 5-5. Five, five. We can chomp a bunch. So we're going to lose. Why did Cartouche fall off? Enchant creature you control? Yeah, that's pretty rough. I genuinely didn't know it had that text on it. So we need to throw a soldier in front of Spellgorger Weird. Uh, they have no cards in hand, so we can just take this. If we take this, we have four, five, six. I kind of like... I kind of like blocking for five plus moment of triumph. We lose a bunch in this trade. Uh, but I think that's fine. We have clue to crack next turn. They're ordering blockers. It's fine. Moment of Triumph the Soldier to make this kill the Spellgorger weird. And then they give us Thraben Inspector back plus, uh, plus play a Rimrock Knight. We gain one, go to five, draw another Moment of Triumph so we can crack Clue. There's a Gust Walker, that's fine. So we can't attack here. Hopefully they just don't draw very live. I think we're losing. I feel pretty confident in saying we're losing. So they attack with Rimrock Knight. Oh, and nothing else. So we go to blockers. Block with Thraben Inspector. Moment of Triumph it. All right, so we're back in it a little bit. They play another Rimrock Knight. We go to eight. What else do they have in hand? Mountain? No, another Hellhound. Uh, so we're in an awkward position. No, oh, Ardenvale Tactician actually helps a lot. Although I really wish... Hmm. So we're going to stop on their upkeep and tap down Akum Hellhound Rimrack Knight. I guess we can attack, like maybe they sacrifice something. Yeah. 
Rimrock Knight can't block, which helps a lot here. I don't think we're dead to anything. Um, so I want to tap Hellhound Rimrock Knight. And then we can remove that stop. So even Mountain here only deals two. Now we have a Hammer Skull, which is nice. So we know we're going to play the Ardenvale Tactician, so we might as well run it out. We can block if if he has exactly if they have exactly mountain we block take two so i think i'm going to attack with soul warden because we don't want to let that die and pass that's pretty rough uh if they have mountain we take a bunch here but this is fine because we're going to block here, go to six, go up to seven on our turn. Ooh, uh, raise the alarm might actually change our play here. So right now, mountain puts us to two. Raise the alarm would put us up to four, plus give us blockers. I think I still just want to play hammer skull here. Um... It can block one of these off one mountain. Plus, this gives us the out to Gustwalker raise the alarm next turn. This is a very even split. Yeah, so this kind of sucks. But we're going to block and gain all of our life back. Which isn't too bad. Ooh, that's... Yeah, see... This worked out pretty well. So we hit with both. Doesn't really matter what we tap. And then raise the alarm, go up to 10. Can Royal Eruption kill us? Nope. And there we go. So it's the, the clean 2-0 in the FNM. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I really kind of wish... I like Pauper as a format. I, I especially like it as an FNM format. Um, I really miss the friendly cues on, on Miko. So, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you liked, and I will see you later. Ooh, we opened a Tyvar Kel. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll play some Brawl Elves. I'd be into that.